this video is mostly going to be for the supplier of the in interior kit. Um, I'm going to clean that nastiness off the original boot and see how it fits. And then I'm going to, they asked me if I could put this top, the original, the new one on and mark where the snaps need to, be, to go and they can redo it. But the problem was, is that thing was like a, just a garbage bag thrown across the back there. It was, you know, really loose and whatnot. So we'll get, go with them both, see what, sh what happens, maybe ship them both to them and see if we can't get one top boot that fits nice. They're, you know, they're working with me. They're, they're being, you know, really working with me to make this thing right. Give them a lot of credit for that. They got, they have good customer service. And to me, that's the most important part of doing business with anyone. If you have good customer service, they generally have a good product because they're willing to stand behind it. So people with poor customer service, they're the ones I don't want to do business with because, you know, that reflects their product. It seriously does. So these people are standing behind it. So good on them. Let's uh, get to work here and getting that mess cleaned up. <laughs> Ugh, yuck. Before I uh, go tearing all this nastiness off, I just want to show that, yes, this does have foam, the full length of it. And... This one does not. I don't know if that makes any difference or not. But, um, yeah, that might help if it did. But let's uh, clean that foam up with the original. As you can see on the ends, there's two layers of foam in this mechanism that goes over the, you know, the part that goes over the mechanism. There's this thicker and then this thin. The thin was the full length. The thicker it was, like I say, just kind of, you can see where it was trimmed and glued right around here just for the mechanism. All right, this is how I'm going to clean this nastiness here. Whoops, turn this to... Yeah, this is just so nasty. I don't even want to touch it with my hands. So we'll give it a quick clean on both sides like this, just to, I'm not going to be extravagant, but I just don't want to ship somebody something ultra nasty. It's got a good scrubbing both sides. I'm going to let it lay here and dry for a couple hours while I uh, fit the original or the new boot back on and kind of mark it out but that that cleaned up good enough to where i can try it out on the car like i say it's about 70 degrees out so it's just going to sit there there's somewhat a little bit of sun hopefully it'll come out more and get it nice and hot and soft and we can try it out <laughs> Well, that's round two, and you got to really work to get it on. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a little bit of work, but these same same snaps. One, this this snap is here. The one on the top frame is there. So that's how far apart those snaps are. I'll measure it for the. I'll mark them. This one's off that much. Same exact snaps. So it's not, not the way I'm putting it on the car. And uh, this one's off that much. And that one's off that much. So I'm going to put the old top boot on after I mark where these ones need to be. And then we'll see how the original top boot goes on i mean look at that 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 doesn't look good there and i tried to tried to pull that out from underneath you know going in and 
and uh, maybe over time, who knows, but yeah, I don't know. I'd almost rather drive the top car without the top boot on than that. It just doesn't look good. It does not look good at all, and that's going to that's gonna flap in the breeze. It needs that foam under it, I think, the full width. I think that was there for a reason. Usually the manufacturers don't do something like that unless it's for a reason because they cut costs every single corner they can. All right, so let me get that uh, marked and we'll try the other top boot. I had a really hard time finding something that would put a mark. It's like a plastic and nothing would mark it. And I finally found what and got this, that chrome paint pen. And I drew it on here. You can see where I drew some fabric permanent marker on there in the yellow. It didn't even mark that plastic. This chrome paint pen put a little dab. And if it, uh, I make sure it doesn't come off, maybe I'll take a, like a little screwdriver punch or something, put a little scraper mark there so it doesn't uh, come off. But anyway, let me uh, get this top off and we'll get the original top boot on and see how that looks. It's still drying, so the magic of video editing, it'll go right on, but it might be an hour or so before it goes on. So the parts that bother me the most is on both sides. This, you know, kind of looks bad. The snaps, you know, don't go here. Isn't going to make any difference on this. And uh, that's not going to move any. To, that snap's just too far off. So I don't know if something can be done kind of to make that so it's a little neater. Maybe that's just the way they are. But the, a lot of the really bad wrinkles came out in there from just leaving it laid out on the floor in the car but there's still you know it still has some some of these in it maybe they'll work out over time maybe that's the way top boots are and uh so you know i'm not totally it's a little tight right here and the mechanism right there and uh the other side it's not so bad but this has the same same issue here and uh, I just think you know it, it just I don't know it's like it's almost stitched a little tight right in this corner here I can't really tell though I like I say you know I mean it seems to me like this should have another tad bit of material because you can Come up. This side does it, but it's not, not as bad as that side. And the top frame is all adjusted correctly. The top works and fits properly. So, you know, maybe that's why the foam's under there, just for that instant, you know, just because of that. I think the other top boot has a hole in it somewhere around. I don't remember if it's here or here or where, but it does have a hole in it. So just kind of wanted to show so the supplier can truly see get a good view of how things appear on it all these snaps are snapped and like i say i tried to work the vinyl in those elongated um slots to try and get you know these wrinkles like tried to pull it maybe i don't know maybe maybe other snaps need longer holes i don't know but anyway that's that's how it fits i'm just gonna kind of show it so you can kind of see it from all views that's been on for four and a half hours now just think that maybe I don't know maybe we can do something make it feel a little better but those snaps get those snaps over some more it looks like there's a sticker there. there's adhesive on there all right I'm gonna take this off and put the original boot which is drying right there in the sun and see how that uh, fits there's the factory original boot installed every single snap is snapped except this one, I can get it down and on, 
it just pops off. But this thing's shrunk to where I had to really tug to get some of those snaps on. But that's the way the top, you know, other than this rip here, that rip wasn't there. Yeah, you know, those wrinkles will come out. But that's to me, and plus I removed all the foam. So that to me, once the wrinkles come out, I mean, look at that. That's nice and tight. That isn't just all loose and floppy down in there. That could be because it shrunk, but it is, you can see it's really, really pulling. So it's definitely shrunk over the years, 55 years. <laughs> But there we go, that is this one. So if you want to really look at it before you do anything with this one, you can really, hopefully, hopefully it all should, let me turn on, I should turn on this row of lights here. There we go. A little more light on it. All right, and this one is, like I say, it is marked. So that's one, two, three, four. Those are the four that just don't snap. This original boot fits like a glove. Well, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm lying. It doesn't fit like a glove. I had to really pull and tug to get it on there I mean yeah but it fits better than the, the new one in my mind I just want to add this to the video for the supplier so it's not wasn't this part to where I had to, you know I didn't have to pull it tight that way or pull it tight this way I was pulling it like okay so I'd put the snap in then I'd have to really pull it that way to get that one in really I mean really tug to get the next next stamp snap in there they're not in elongated holes, they're in permanent fixed holes and they're I had to really tug to to get them some of them to snap, you know, this one and that one, you know, around the edges. But as far as width why, you know, this part, no. It it pulled this way to snap here and that way to snap there easily. It was just uh like I say, this had to tug on to get the snaps in. Well, this video is mostly for the the uh, people that supplied the top interior top kit and uh, so they can do what they need to to the boot to you know make it fit a little better this one's just been on for now about 15 minutes and is already starting to you know wrinkle out a little bit but you know it's been folded up in the trunk for god knows how long at least 45 years and uh so that's it for this video. If you like the video, definitely hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to my channel and see this neat old galaxy finished up, subscribe to my channel by hitting that 348 engine icon there. And thank you for watching my videos.